All the makeup can be confusing as is, let alone if you're a guy trying to figure it out, let alone if you don't want it to be obvious that you're wearing makeup, let alone if you really don't know what you're doing. So I just wanted to jump on here real quick and show you what you could do to make yourself feel better, but also make it not obvious that you are wearing makeup. So this look is really just gonna be working on your natural features of what you have and some little quick tidbits of what you could do to make yourself feel a little better, you know? Say if you have some puffy eyes, say if you have a little redness, say you have some acne. You could just fix those things and nobody needs to know. All right, now, number one is you want your face to be moisturized. Nobody wants a crusty face, nobody wants a dry face. Moisturizer, you do not have to spend a lot of money on it because the goal is you want to take care of your skin. You want your foundation to be great. You know, Picasso would not want to be painting on some crusty canvas. It just wouldn't be a good look or some crusty parchment. He would want it to be nice and smooth. You get what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, this is the Nivea. Nivea for men sensitive. Oh, oh, am I official doing that? I think so, I think so. All right, now this. Once you're moisturized, part two is you wanna go in with a tinted moisturizer if you want something that's actually gonna go over your whole face. So say if you have an uneven skin tone, you have some redness, you wanna cover that up and make yourself feel just a little more in your zone. Now I suggest a tinted moisturizer over a foundation because it is a lot more sheer. It's not gonna look cakey, it's not gonna really pack on, and again, it's going to keep it more on the natural side. So here I'm going in with tinted moisturizer. For this, you do not need brushes. You can use your fingers, okay? It's nice and easy, just like that. So just do about, that's actually a pretty generous amount. You didn't even need that much. But go in, put those fingers together, and then do little dots, right? Okay, so I'll do three here, three here, and then, ooh, I feel like I'm about to go into battle doing like warrior look right here. So once you have this on your face, you could go in with your hands. Now, if you do have a sponge by any chance, I think this is something you should invest in. This is not a beauty blender. This is technically an Urban Decay fancy. I don't even know what this little this little part is for. I guess you're technically supposed to blend out your concealer with it, but you do not need a fancy sponge. You can buy one from Marshalls. You could go and get a dupe. A Real Techniques makes awesome sponges. I absolutely love those. But again, if you don't have a sponge, that's okay. Just use your hands. And if you do, go easy. Go easy and don't go too crazy by your eyes because we're going to go in there with concealer, but uh, be gentle on your eyes too. The skin under your eyes is obviously a lot more sensitive. So if you are going to go in, just use your ring finger. All right. But anyways, since I have the sponge, I am going to sponge it out. And now what's great about the sponge is it actually picks up a lot of the excess product and blends it out for you beautifully. This way you don't have to worry about it looking too uneven or patchy or just, you know, generally wild. Once that's on, okay, we're gonna go on to step number two, and that is concealer. No, step number three, concealer. Now, you don't have to, you didn't have to do the tinted moisturizer, so say if you wanna skip it, I actually, I usually skip the tinted moisturizer and I will just go in with a concealer after I moisturize, because, you know, we're, we're looking tired sometimes. You know, we might have some dark circles we just wanna correct, so let's, let's fix that. Now, this is actually a drugstore concealer. It is super sheer, and um, it is by Garnier Nutri Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. So it's technically helping your dark circles at the same time. Isn't that great? By the way, my dog bit me in my palm. That's why I have this here. I know, I love him. Just my little angel, little angel. Anyways, so I'm gonna go in with this concealer. Again, it's super sheer, but I'm gonna do three little lines here on both sides, all right? Now, if you have the sponge, use the sponge. If you don't, remember, use your ring finger right over here to dap it in. What's great about this is since it's sheer, it will actually blend in really easy. Again, since we have the sponge, we are going in there and beating that face. So once you have tinted moisturizer on, your concealer, your moisturizer first before the tinted moisturizer, you're gonna go in with some bronzer. Now, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit right here, very nice. I know it looks brand new, doesn't it? I've had it for two years. All right, and we're gonna kick this baby open. Anytime you're contouring, you do not need a contour kit. I used to think you did. You can use any kind of brown um, that would work best with your skin tone. Just be conscious you do not get a bronzer that actually has shimmer in it, because then, if your goal is to make it look like you aren't wearing makeup, it will be very obvious if all of a sudden you're walking by and you have some glitter shimmer looks on the way. Uh, but hey, if you're about the shimmer, live your life. I'm proud of you, do your thing. All right, but that's not what we're going for today. So we are gonna go in lightly tap, okay? And technically tap it off, but I just do a little shake in the air. And I'm gonna go in here. You're gonna kind of do like a three, 
but I really don't go on the jawline too much, okay? So I start out up here in the temple, and I do circular motions, and then I bring that down right against my cheekbone here. Now, if you're unsure where your cheekbone is, you could feel it, and just literally take the brush right here. By the way, look at that diamond, look at that shine. Take it, just put it right against your cheekbone, boom, right there, follow that natural line. Because again, we're just, we're right now, we're just enhancing what we already have. We're not going crazy. We just want to add us a little more vavoom, okay? Now that's it for this side. We're not gonna go too wild and we're not going for a Kim Kardashian contour because then I think it would be a little obvious that we're wearing makeup. Again, we're gonna do that same thing, a little dip dip. We'll shake off, start up here. Now kind of connect it so this way it's a nice even sun-kissed look. Again, follow your natural cheekbone right here. And circle, 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 circle. Bring it down a little bit on the jawline. Do the same little dap in, the, in your contour, and remember to bring it down your neck. Because the worst is, if all of a sudden you have like a nice little bronze face, and then your neck is a different color. Because then, it's gonna be a little obvious. And again, our goal here is to make it nice and natural. Like, oh, I woke up, I'm a Greek god. Oh my god, life is great, life is dandy. That's what we're going for. Now we are bronze, okay? Bronzer's out of the way. I love to go in with a nice fluffy brush. This is your best friend in terms of just blending everything for you, making it look nice, and again, natural. This should be a drinking video. Every time I say natural, take a shot. Oh no, you might be on the floor by the end of it. And now with this, I'm just going in, blending it all out. Boom. Magnificent. Now, once you've contoured and you basically went in and did your three on both sides, you do wanna probably contour your nose. Otherwise, uh, I think if you just have some like sun-kissed action here and nothing here, it might look a little funny. So I actually, I go in with a very small brush. This, you don't need this exact brush, but just any kind of smaller brush will do. And I will just go in with one of these colors, very small amount of product. You do not wanna be generous, a little flick of the wrist. And I will just follow the natural side of your nose. Boom. Again, just one little tap, like, I know it looks like I'm barely getting anything on, but again, that is the name of the game right now. So, if you're still with me, for bronze, from there, I am just going to go in with a clear mascara. And I know you're probably thinking like, why are we using clear mascara? What's the point? Now, I like to use this. This is the Great Lash by Maybelline. And just to keep my brows in place. Now, if you have longer brows, they might be getting a little funky, going which way, this way. This just keeps them nice and uniform, and not too uniform, because remember, your brows are supposed to be brothers, not twins. Now, if you have the clear mascara, I will sometimes put it on my lashes too. Even though it's clear, I feel like it does actually open up my eyes and make me just look so refreshed. But we already went in with the concealer, so you really don't need to worry about that. Now, we are done. So thank you for joining me and doing our little natural look. Uh, if you know, if you have any questions, just feel free to leave a little comment below and until next time. All right. Thanks. Uh, I have my shirt unbuttoned and I just realized I kind of look like a slutty dolphin instructor, but you know what? I'm rocking it. Slutty dolphin instructor it up.